hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is d3 d12 device removed so if you're receiving this error with the game then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game do not ignore this try it once now the next step is to update windows to the latest version this is very important do not ignore this so you can check which version you have so type in w i n v e r winver in windows search box and then click on winver and the latest is version 23h2 so make sure that your windows 11 is up to date to version 23h2 so you can update your windows 11 so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and then check now you can even use windows 11 installation assistant to update your windows 11 so go to this link the link is provided in the video description now download windows 11 installation assistant and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and if there is any update it will give you an option to install it install it and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver do not ignore this this has worked for a few nvidia players uh, nvidia graphic card user so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i am showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your product type for me it's geforce experience so make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 and this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option now this is important you can try this so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again this time type in dash d3 d11 now you can launch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check but still not working you can remove this from here and follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in window search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file select this anti-cheat file and then click on add in my case the game is already added again click on browse open this bin folder win x64 select the hunt game exe file this is important so select this in my case the game is already added so whenever the game is added click on the game and then click on options select high performance over here now click on save and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you try this so copy this link for nvidia users i'll also show for amd users so copy this link open this link in a browser it will take you to nvidia website and then select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on start search for many users the latest 560.81 is not working so you can install the previous one 560.70 geforce game ready driver so try this one so if the latest one is not working you can try this one or you can even go for you can even go to the older version so whenever you roll back click on get download download it 
but go for clean installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then after that restart is important restart a computer and then launch the game now if you have amd card then go to amd website and then select your graphic card from the list this is just an example i don't have an amd graphic card but this is just an example select your graphic card and once you select your graphic card click on submit and then go to previous drivers and then select your operating system and then you can scroll down and if you have this 24.3.1 you can try 24.1.1 and for many users installing this version has also worked so you can try this 22.11.2 so you can scroll down and find this one so here you can see 22.11.2 you can download it and install it but when you install it you have to uninstall the the latest version and then you have to install it uninstall it then restart the computer then install it and then restart the computer and then check now the next step is to delete the shaders folder now for this go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now open this user folder and over here you will find this shaders folder now if you want to create a backup you can copy this you can paste it to the desktop whenever you want you can put it back but now you can delete this shaders folder and once this is done now you can launch the game and then check still not working we can delete the user folder now this will reset all your in-game settings your in-game settings will be lost so only if you agree you can delete the user folder now for this again make a right click on the game select manage browse local files and then here you can see the user folder make a right click if you want to create a backup you can just copy this uh, folder and then maybe you can transfer it to your desktop and uh, once you have a backup now you can delete this user folder and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now if you're using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file click on open and again click on add and allowed app browse all apps open this bin this is the actually main exe file bin win 64 select this hunt game and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings in the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open bin 64 hunt map hunt game and then click on open and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then go back and select this hunt file and then click on open click on add in my case i have already added it so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to game make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files and then it will take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file and then select properties and then go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 over here then hit apply click on ok launch the game from here if that does not work select windows 7 hit apply click on ok and launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here and then check now the next step is to 
verify the game files this is important do not ignore this so make a right click on the game select properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is 100% complete now you can launch the game and then check so let the verification complete now the next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 so download x86 and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install and let the installation complete and then download x64 file as well again click on this file and then run this exe file so click on it and again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete now once both the installation are complete and then you have to restart your computer a restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 4, now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected to the computer like hotas pedals wheels or any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnected also disconnect sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer disconnected if you have any kind of virtual virtual controller then in that case you can disconnect or you can uninstall virtual controller now if you have disable overlay enabled you can disable it make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn this off and then check also close all the other overlay application 
So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it and then launch the game and then check. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. This is important. So first of all, uninstall the game, manage uninstall. Now after the uninstall, you have to go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, then try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.